Hello community, somebody's given us two stealth LLM and we're gonna test it for causal reasoning because wherever you are, finance, medical, business, we need performance. So here we go, evaluate the scientific correctness of the following sentences. This is from my last video. This is a unique test. Nobody has seen this test, no machine. So let's see what we will find out. I accelerate here 1000% that the video does not get boring and let's see what is the result. If we look at this here, you read it yourself, quantum pharma, code dynamics, A is better and A is Claude 3 Opus and B is now interesting. I'm also a good GPT-2 chatbot. So here we have it, Claude 3 beats here, I am also. Next one. Same prompt, we go, we are at 1000% acceleration. You see the structure is different, the augmentation is different, the length is different. So, come on, imagine how boring this was, for testing for two hours. But I want to find a model that has the performance. If I look at this, look at this, you judge yourself. I decided if I read this, that B is better. So I'm a good GPT-2 chatbot, wins this against the Q1-32B chat. Notice we have two. We have I'm a good GPT-2 chatbot, and then we have I'm also. Now, if you look at the detail of the argumentation, it is nice. It gives us a scientific plausibility, tells us what is real science, what could be an interpretation, gives us here the scientific details, and you can go on and look at this in detail. We have another blind test. We had 1000% acceleration. And yeah, this looks quite similar from the structure. You read whatever you want to read. You decide in the way you decide about this. I say B is better. And now, ah, a Rika Ko, a new one, and a Q1 Max now, just from three, four days ago. Interesting. Okay, now we have a new benchmark. Well, Let's start now with another example. We have the same one. We send it off. We wait here for lmsys.org to come up. Thank you, lmsys.org, for providing here the telecom infrastructure. And done. This was a short one. Other one, still thinking, but looks very similar to what we just have seen. Yeah? What do you think? Okay. Does it find out that it is not pure science, that it is something hallucinated? If you read this, whatever you decide, with other model you go, never mind, I think A is better. And it's, I'm a good GPT-2 chatbot versus the core. Now let's go pure logic. We have rules, we have two facts, and we have a question. And this is no causal reasoning in 100%. There's no discussion about this. Or you do hallucinate a fact or you do hallucinate a rule. Well, this makes it interesting. So we're again at 1000%. Let's see. It's a blind test again. I don't want to be influenced with my judgment. Okay. So model A tells us, okay, the answer is false. This is not correct. The answer is true. This is correct. So I go with B is better. Hey, I'm also a good GPT-2 chatbot, beats Q and Max. Interesting. Now, you have to go there and see if there was no hallucination, if there is not a rule that's not in the rule book and invented. Another example. Same thing, chatbot arena, leaderboard, beautiful. We contribute to the leaderboard, this is great. We contribute here to the community, 1000% is done. So model A gives us the fact and rule. We can not directly infer whether it is shown. B is better. Hey, Gemini 1.5 Pro gets it right. Nice. Yes, you get it. We have another run with another blind test. We want to see if we get some other, maybe some new models I'm not familiar with. So let's start. Again, 1000%. Yes, come on, faster. Model A already has decided that the answer is false, which is not the correct answer to this task. Model B is still thinking, and here we have it. So 
B is better. I'm a good GPT-2 chatbot beats GPT-3.5 Turbo. Interesting. Okay. Well, if you see this, the next blind test might be interesting also. We have the same beautiful prompt. We have the same beautiful logic task. So let's chat now. A. Oh, A is now completely different. B is fast. This is interesting. A says the answer is false. B says the answer is true. B is better. And now, Claude 3 Opus got it right. But I'm also a good GPT got it wrong. Gee, how is this happening? Claude 3, yes. I'm also good GPT. Two chatbot, this is the false answer. But let's give it here another opportunity. Let's say, hey, verify yourself. Verify your reasoning path with more detail. Let's see if the system is able, if we tell it, hey, do a verification to come up with the correct solution. Okay, model B, Claude 3 Opus still say answer is true, but we have to check for hallucination. And now also model A tells us the answer is false. So, my goodness, I'm also good, but he fails. Hey, let's go with another more complicated rule task. So we have a new prompt. Game opens again. We have two facts. And now the question is, is Alice Vope from the Stanford standard test? Okay, so let's see, we had 1000% and the game is on. So beautiful step-by-step -step augmentation. Now you see that it is really about the causal reasoning. The answer is true in A, beautiful. The answer is unknown in B is wrong. A is better and we have a... I'm also a good GPT to chatbot. Hey, Gemini 1.5 Pro fails? Oh, come on, Gemini, this is not okay. Interesting, okay. Gemini says unknown. Let's do a regenerate. Let's give Gemini a second chance. Let's see what's happening. Okay, final answer. Gemini is not true. Okay, Gemini comes back, says, yeah, okay, it's okay. But remember, you have to check now yourself. If the logical chain, there was no hallucination of facts or no hallucination of rules. I leave this to my subscriber. Or you write a short program. Okay, another one. Identical prompt, our power prompt. Let's see. Yeah, systems are thinking, 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 all the logical deduction, all the logical permutation. A says the answer is false, incorrect. B says yes, Reka Core beats. I'm a good GPT-2 chatbot. Hello, Reka Core gets it right. I'm a good GPT-2 chatbot gets it wrong. Regenerate, let's give it another chance. So, whatever is, I'm a good GPT, it is not perfect. Okay. Let's see if Reiko Core stays with the correct answer. No, Reiko Core goes to the wrong answer. But I'm a good GPT is now with the right answer. So they now exchanged here their result. Interesting. I say, hey, both validate this. Because I think you have to do something. System is up. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, you have an analysis, but what is the result? Okay, you see, A gives us a result. The answer is true. This is the correct answer. So I'm a good GPT-2 type, but is now with the correct answer. Beautiful. Okay, another blind test. Let's see what models come up now. The answer of true in model B is correct, but we don't know about yes and A is also correct. Beautiful. So this is a tie. Wait a minute. What do you mean indirect ruling? Hey, 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 there's something. Okay, I'm a good GPT chatbot, got it right, and Q and Max got it right, but there is something. Explain the critical path to have since this is here. Okay, this is interesting what's happening now. Correction, correction, okay. The eye system is changing its mind, okay. Now we have an indirect chain and a direct chain from an indirect path. The conclusion is, I'm a good GPT. Chatbot stays with true and QN Max says, 
should emphasize the path with the condition with incorrectly asserting that have based on a misapplied logic. This is not good. Q1 max, a misapplied logic. No. Focus on established fact and rules without missteps. Yeah, correct approach involves recognizing status as jade and exploring the implications from there directly. So I say, okay, listen, Q1 max. If you want, you can do any corrections, but please do it now and give me a final answer. Don't just tell me, yeah, there's something to do. I want an answer. My apologies for the confusion earlier. Okay, everything is okay. Let's just see if you can come up with the correct answer. QN Max, suppose I'm a good GPT tool. Chatbot will again come up with the right answer, but what about QN Max? QN Max tells us the answer is false and QN Max is incorrect. No. And I'm a good chat GPT. Perfect. Now let's make a very easy task. Look, this is simple. This is trivial. Children can do this. And you know, the answer is 24%, just between you and me. So A gets it right. B, B is a 10%. No, A is correct. A is I'm also a good chat GPT to chatbot and B is QN Max. Okay. Let's do it another blind test. You know it is still 24%. This is the beauty. There's only one correct number, 24%. A is correct. 10% chance in B is wrong. Yeah, 24A. This is it. A is better. I'm also a good GPT to chatbot. Q went 110 billion free, tra free trainable parameter, the chat version fails here. So now we get an idea where these two stealth chatbots are. <laughs> hey, it's a fun problem. Hey, this is a friendly one. Hey, Model B looks very familiar. Can you see here the argumentation? We know this argumentation, no? Model A is wrong. Model B is wrong. Both are bad. Yeah. I love my 38B, okay, but I'm a good GPT-2 chatbot, fails, this is wrong. Let's do a regenerate, give it a second chance, not for the Llama 3, that's hopeless, but for Model B, I'm a good GPT-2 chatbot. Look at the mathematics it's coming up with. Yeah, so the answer is 24% if we look at Model B. 24%, this is correct, so I'm a good GPT-2 chatbot. The correct answer. Interesting. And now for the last, the most difficult logical test, rules and a lot of data, and then do all the logical permutation and tell me is Alice Vuce. So here we go. This is not the hardest test. This will determine our winner. Maybe we should start with the 1000%. Yeah, because this takes time, okay. Interesting. So, model A, as we can see, is wrong. Model B comes to the right conclusion. Alice is Vus, as derived through a chain of logical deduction using the provided rules and facts. B is better, and we have GPT-4 Turbo. Yeah, of course, against a little Gemini 1.5 Pro, not even the Ultra. Ah, oh, come on. So GPT-4 can do it. Okay, baseline. But now. Now we go for the ultimate match. 1000%, we on. <laughs> Look at the argumentation puff. Outwards, inwards, back. Wow, there's a lot of logical argumentation. Alex, we don't know. A doesn't know. B is correct. Alice is woos, but we have not checked for hallucination. So B is better. Wow, it beats Opus. I'm a good chat, GPT-2 chatbot beats Claude 3 Opus. Not bad, not bad at all. Wow. Now this is impressive, honestly. I did not expect this. Okay, here we go again. Relaxed, ready, go. And yes, 1000% because otherwise it's boring. This is pure logic, I hope so. B tells us, we don't know, this is the wrong answer. A, both do not get the right answer. Both are bad. Claude's reopus is wrong, and I'm also a good GPT-2 chatbot is wrong. Both are wrong? Come on. Both get a new chance. 
Everybody deserves a second chance. But now, now you better come up with the right one. And I mean both. Now we have to... Yes. No. Opus fails. Opus says, in conclusion, no. And I'm also good GPT-2 chatbot wins over Opus. 